escort missions. Hey guys, what is going on? It's Arcavius, your lovable big boy, and we're here with another episode of Skyrim Bleach Uchiha's Descendant. And now, like I said from the last episode, we were going to be near where the Great Fox's cow would be. And here we are, we're in the mausoleum right now. This is where the champion of Cyrodiil was, um, he was buried. And, uh, I was going to just go ahead and go through it, but I decided, because there's some enchanted items here, as well. I also got some cool things from Oblivion. Um, I don't think Eagle Eye was one of them, but I got the Boots of Spring Heel Jack. That's pretty cool. And we also got the legendary sword, Umbra. Um, show you that real quick. Just look at that, man. Oh, it's so nice. I loved Umbra. That was like the most OP sword ever. But, uh, <clears throat> anyways, so we're gonna pick these up. Uh, Blade Sword and Blade Shield. Uh, Champion of Cyrodiil. Here lies the Champion of Cyrodiil, Hero of Kavaj, Lord of the Guilds, Invincible Warrior of the Arena, Guardian of the Old Way, Connoisseur of the Ancient Alien, and Great Friend of Martin Septum, the Dragonborn. Together, chase the evil Daedric Prince Mayrun's Dagon into oblivion, freezing the Empire of Tamriel and all of its people. Oh, freeing, not freezing. Um, I don't think there's any way to go in there. Um, now this took me forever to figure out before, so I'm sure this will take me forever to do now. No, stay on the bow. Okay. Now, do I have to maybe... Arrow of Extrication. I'm going to go ahead and give myself a few of these, because I'm an awful shot. Um, I did unlock a chest. It was for something for a key and... Hammer fell. It it's not something we're gonna return to, so that's why I didn't show it. Um, help extrication. No, wait. What's it called? Extrication. Extrication. Not extrication. Help extrication. Player dot add item zero nine zero zero two one e two. And we'll give, my, give myself 30 of them, because, uh, you know, not a good shot. Uh, and we have a bow. We have a hunting bow, and we have a long bow. I think we should do the long bow. And... God, look at that. Such bad aim. Oh, a little bit lower. Right there. That should be the money shot. There it is! Dude, that took me so long to figure out before, and I'm pretty sure that wasn't even the hard part. It's been such a... Oh, no. That was it. Oh, that was it? Arrow of Extrication was unequipped. Okay. Oh. It's been so long, I really... But yeah, I used to run around this entire dungeon like, I don't know what to do. There's nothing to do. <laughs> Oh, there's, a, there's a Dwemer flying ships. Oh, look at all the flying ships. Oh, it's the Imperial City. Yo, what's up, Imperial City? My house used to be over there. Who are you, big boy? Are you the champion of Cyrodiil? You. Welcome. I've been waiting for you. So you're the champion. Indeed. I am the one who have all calls the champion of Cyrodiil. I even had a name, but I guess you found out a little while ago. It's an honor to meet you. Meet me? I died 200 years ago now. Uh, forget it. I guess you are here for the great hall of Nocturnal. What? Yes? Good. You have passed all the tests which I have prepared for you. And you beat all of them. You really deserve to be Great Fox. Come. Is this Cyrodiil? Cyrodiil? No, we are not in Cyrodiil. What you see is not real. Not even this place, to be honest. It's okay. just a way to remind me of my beloved Cyrodiil. See there? The Imperial City. So beautiful, so gorgeous. Okay. 
I know the Talmor, these disgusting girls, they looted, ransacked and destroyed everything. My yard, well, back to us, home now. I'll show you may want to the to have to ask you something before. What kinds of things do you want to ask? Tell me your story. My story? Why? He's the champion. I thought so, but I won't. I honestly don't care. Alright, sit down. Let's get comfortable. Oh. Oh, God. We'll be right back. Alright, <clears throat> after hearing like an hour long story, hi. And now? Go through this portal. It will bring you to a place. It will bring you to an area isolated from the rest of the world. A place. That, sure, maybe. Well, first you are. Farewell, champion. Farewell, Dragon Ball. May the Tarnal guide you. Okay, so. Somewhere in Akavir. Hold up. Where's the gray cow? I, did I get gypped? The great no, it's not over there. Wait, oh, maybe it's in the middle. Mm, no. Maybe I just have to go through the portal. Huh. I assumed he would just give it to me. I guess he's a ghost. I guess he can't technically give me anything. Oh well. All right. Well, if worse comes worse, we'll just give ourselves a gray cow. I don't know. It's kind of weird that it just wouldn't give it to me. Okay, bye, champion. You better not jit me. I'll be back. I'll destroy your entire way of life. Okay, it doesn't say the quest is complete, so... Nice little area. I'd like to make this my home. Search the urn. Ah, there it is. The Great Cowl of Nocturnal. Sneaking is 25% better. Carrying capacity increased by 200 points. Nearby living, mechanical undead danger can be seen through walls. Not what I remember to the day, Great Cowl, but hey, we can't all be perfect. Return to Seviana. How does how do I return to Seviana? Um, oh boy, this is gonna be a long run back. You've made it. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> Blessed Nocturnal, the yeah. Umbernox did not wait two hundred years in vain. It'd be funny if they did. What can I do for there you? There is one last thing I have to ask you. Oh God. You know we are not warriors, and the lands of Skyrim are unknown to us. Could you please escort us to the docks of Solitude? We have decided really? to return to Anvil in Cyrodiil. Thank you. We're leaving this house. It's yours now. Here's the key. Luvian, we should get ready to go home. N what? I don't want to have to dance. I don't want to have to do an escort mission. There's nothing even good in this house. Your house is trash. Nice. Oh, there ain't nothing in here. I don't want your crappy house. Yeah. Right, fine, come on. The sooner we get this over with, the better. Goddamn escort missions. We're farewell now. Yep. We'll wait here for the next ship for em Goodbye. Have a wonderful day. Over text, great Cower of Octero by Manny GT. Thank you for playing this mod. I hope you fully enjoyed the journey. Wow, thanks for breaking the fourth wall for me there, big guy. Not like we're trying to do a role play. Champion is here, little voice, but it, is this a goddamn? S it's a goddamn credit scene. Yeah, we'll be right back. All right, so uh, we're good now. We got uh, everything out of the way. If we look at ourselves. God, it looks so weird with the Renegon. It just matches so well. 
But, um, so what we're gonna do, I wanna test something. I, I dropped the arrows of extrication, and apparently it's just bugged now. It's there for- wait. No. I wanna test a bug that might be a th thing still. Use telekinesis, and then you fast travel. Let's say, let's fast travel to... Let's go to Rift... No. I need to go to the Jutsu Master's hideout. Yeah, let's see if it works. Uh, doesn't look like it works. Aw, oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well, let's take off this uh, guard cal. It's a dope thing, but at the same time, I don't really need it at this moment. Um, so let's go inside here. Oh, we also need a hideout. Not a hideout, but a place for all of us to live. Okay. What was that teleport? Alright, that hurt, but... Also, my game's running a little slow for some reason. Not really sure what that is all about. Uh, my FPS is kind of dropping pretty hard, and I just don't know what's wrong with it. Um, but anyways, we're gonna have our like our people live here. It's called the Japan Lodge. Either actually, maybe it's the game itself. Like maybe the, this lodge is making me lag a little bit. Oh, hello, B. I've captured you. You're mine now. But this area is awesome. It has plenty of places for everyone to sleep. Um, it kind of has like a Soul Society-esque kind of look to it. Uh, this is actually really cool. There's um, like little armor stands and stuff in here that we can set up. Um, which actually I'm going to do one of them because we got some ancient stuff. Uh, so let's go to inventory. And we will add ancient red guard. There we go. Ah, man, that looks creepy. Um, do I have anything else that I could use? Activate inventory. Um, oh, yeah, full ebony armor from that uh, that one fight. We'll do the full orcish. No. I need to go back now. Give me that. Uh, orcish. Where'd you go? Orcish, 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 orcish. Orcish. There we go. And now full eb e e ebony. Ebony. Full ebony. This is just temporary. This is just because I want to make it look nice right now. Um, uh, game, please. Thank you. And uh, I think that's everything. I don't remember. Yokuda. Ooh, I disenchant that. Um, we actually got a lot of stuff from that. We got a lot of rings. Uh, we also need to give ourselves some more Shinigami stuff so that way we can actually recruit Dasi. Um, now, see, the only problem is I don't know if I drop the follower thing, if they'll use everything in the vicinity because the whole thing counts as the Japan hideout or the Japan lodge, or if it's just like they'll only be in the hell all that came from. Wait a minute. Did we bounce sword? Huh. Um, or if they'll just, like, only hang out in the general area that I said. Uh, give me a moment. Let me, let me think this over. Okay, so I'm just gonna give it a try and hopefully the Japan Lodge works. Now, uh, Dasi. Dasi, my main homie it's G. A... Yes? I'm starting a new guild. Would you like to join? Of course. Great. Why don't you head over to our headquarters and mark it on your map? Excellent. I think you'll be glad that you made this decision. No, me too. Seeing as our last time you sacrificed your life. What? I mean, nothing. Mm -hmm. Um. Lead the way. Okay. Now that you're following me, uh, I need to talk. Need something? Uh. I'll try some things. What do you want me to carry? Okay. So give me your iron kunai. Now I know I said that I don't want anyone else to have my armor, but, or my sword, but she did give her life before, so I've decided to pass on Tensa, uh, Tensa Zengetsu to her. So she could have Tensa Zengetsu, and she's now, wait, not yet. Um, oh man, I didn't get myself... Help. Oh wait, up one more. Here. Done. Add item. 
four nine zero zero six three D six ten. There we go. You are now a Shinigami. I'll head back home if you need me. All right, you head back home, fellow Shinigami. And just okay, just switch back into your normal goddamn clothes. Lead the way. We change back to me when you follow me. You got naked. Oh, did you need something? Uh. Trace what do things. you want me to carry? Give me these. Give me these. Don't know how the hell you got those back. I'll head back home if you need me. I don't understand how you're getting those back. She's a wizard. She's a goddamn wizard. <sighs> well, I guess not everybody can follow the uh, the way of the Shinigami. I'm gonna, I'm gonna follow her. Okay, I did equip armor and everything in your inventory. I better get going. But she Need just something? won't put it on. Um, let me trade some things with you. Oh, it might be because the tavern... No, wait, no, it's not... Yeah, it is. It's because the tavern clothes cost more than the Shinigami robes. Give me a break. Why is that a mechanic? Okay, I have to figure this out. Hang on, let me... Let me, let me fix this. There! No! You better put those clothes right back on, young lady. Don't you walk out of this house without underwear. We might just have to go with the Akatsuki robes and then give them the weapons because I don't think it's just gonna. Can I just don't you? think it's gonna work. Yes, yeah, so I'm gonna tell you. Trade. Oh, let me trade some things with you. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. Give me this. God damn it. Um. See if I give her the Akatsuki stuff. I know for a fact she'll wear them, because they're expensive stuff. Uh, if she puts them on. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to tell you... Put the armor and weapons in your inventory. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so uh, I, tried, I tried doing it the fun way, but the robes don't cost anything, so she's not going to wear them over anything else. So, uh, yeah, that's gonna be it for this episode, guys. I hope you all have enjoyed. If you have, be sure to leave a like, comment, of course. If you're new, subscribe. We always enjoy a new addition to the Ark Army. I guess for resurrecting the, uh, Akatsuki, it kinda sucks. I really wanted to go the, uh, the Soul Society route, but, uh, just doesn't work out the way I wanted to. So, but guys, I love you all, and I'll talk to you later. This is your lovable big boy, signing out. Peace! Yeah.